Hi, Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we are talking about how to use a cane. Now when I'm referring to this, I'm going to be talking about the regular cane or single point cane as well as the quad cane because you use these two in the same fashion. Um, if you need a refresher on how to adjust the height of this cane or either one of these canes, please see that video on how to adjust canes. Also pay particular attention to how to adjust the base of the quad cane depending on which side of the body that you are using it on. Now with that being said, a lot of people think that when you use a cane, it needs to go on the side of the injured or weak leg. And actually that is incorrect. What you need to do is put it on the opposite side. And let me tell you why. When you're using a cane, you are using it for some support for your weak leg. So if I place the cane on this side, and I am indicating my weak leg by the pink tape, if I place the cane on this side, when I step, the cane in my foot are my base of support while I bring my good leg through, okay? So as you see, my base of support is only as wide as the outside of the cane to the inside of my foot. So my base of support is about that big. If I switch the cane to the opposite side and I step with the cane in my injured leg, when I swing my good leg through, my base of support is from the outside of my injured foot to the outside of the cane. So you have a much bigger base of support, okay? Now, some people may say, oh, you know, I'm not going to be able to put enough pressure on that cane if it's over here in this hand away from my injured foot. Professionally and personally, I want to say that if you have to bear a lot of weight through a cane, I don't believe that you're ready for a cane. I think you need something more supportive like a walker. And that, that's my opinion, but you see a lot of people that are using a cane, they have to bear a lot of weight, and this is what you see. You see them bearing down and you see them leaning over to try to support that leg while they're bringing their leg through. That's kind of dangerous and a little unsafe. And again, I recommend that if you have to bear that much weight, you really need something more supportive like a walker. So let me show you and demonstrate to you how to use a cane. One thing that I tell my clients is try not to think too much about how to use it, where to put it, when do you put it. I want you to just relax and walk naturally. When we walk, the, our opposite arm and leg swing together. So if you relax and just walk naturally, you will see that the cane and your injured leg or your weak leg will come together. Okay, let me demonstrate that again. So you're going to naturally walk, you're gonna, your arm is going to swing, your injured leg will move forward with the cane, and they will fall where they need to fall. Okay? Now, um, again, the big thing is, don't think too much about it. People get very confused, and it gets kind of uh, difficult when you think about, you know, do I need to place the cane first and then take a step? Again, one more time, let me demonstrate. I want you to relax, walk as naturally as you can, and the cane and your weak leg should fall naturally in line as, as while, uh, while you're walking. Okay? Now, that is how you walk with a cane. You do the same walk and same uh, position with the quad cane. Uh, that's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.